Good evening, everybody. So, today we are about to make a big mess. Um, as you can see in front of us, we've got a 12 by 12 canvas. Um, it's a do-over canvas that I scraped, I think, yesterday. Um, it was another non-successful. I'm going to stop calling them failed because technically they're not failures. They're just opportunities to learn. Um, it was a very unsuccessful wave pour. Um, first time it's too thick, it's too thin, it's too much paint, it's not enough paint. Haven't mastered it yet, but that's okay. That's why we're going to keep trying. So what we're going to do today is we are going to do a, a 12 by 12. This is going to be a, another technique that I'm still trying to, I wouldn't say master. I would say, uh, get consistent with because sometimes they're good most of the times they're not uh this is a spinning bloom that i did a couple of um i think this was my last one of 2020 so this is the one that will go um, next to hanata um, on the mantle next to her ashes because all of the colors in it remind me of her um, if you're part of my uh, paint pouring for Christ Facebook group you saw um, when I posted this one and you know kind of what it means to me so this is the really the only successful bloom I've really had and um, I think there's a reason for that but um, yeah so that's that one so what we're going to do today is we are going to do another bloom and probably one of the reasons I'm not completely successful at it is because I'm always changing the recipe from what other people do um, so the recipe today is our pillow paint is the Color Place Classic Interior Paint White, uh, semi-gloss, um, get it at Walmart. So that is the pillow paint and I did add a little bit of water into it just because I find the pillow paints to be really, really thick and they don't move well for me. Um, so I've got everything written down here. I will put all of this down in the description as well as at the end I will put a little card that you can do a screenshot. So the pillow paint is mixed with a um, very very small amount of water. It's like 17 ounces of paint and one ounce of water just to thin it up slightly. But then what I did is again we're experimenting is I took this Deco Art Media Fluid Acrylics Primary Cyan and I squeezed in one ounce and then I mixed it but I didn't mix it fully because I want to leave the strings of blue and we're going to see what happens when we put that down as our pillow paint see if it holds its structure if it kind of finishes mixing in what it's going to do and then we have our paint colors there's no rhyme or reason i literally reached into the drawer and grabbed our paint colors so we've got artist loft metallic leaf green artist loft turquoise artist loft crimson and the artist loft copper so those are our uh, paint colors and the the pouring medium recipe is of course in the description as well as with all the ratios as well as the pouring medium to paint ratios and all of that and then for our cell activator we are doing two cell activators so we are going to have an orange and a white again no rhyme or reason i literally just grabbed colors they are both amsterdam uh, one of them is going to be the vermilion, and then we've got our standard um, titanium white. Um, I got this on Amazon. Uh, link is down in the description if you're having problems finding that. And then because I don't have Australian Floetrol, it was just regular Floetrol in there, I had to, I added three drops, as I drop it on the canvas, uh, three drops of the Minwax Pre-Stain. Let me clean that off of the canvas. Today has been a complete disaster. I couldn't really say disaster. I'm trying to have a more positive outlook on certain things. Um, I can say that the dresser jumped out and attacked me today. Um, the drawer decided to catch the shoestring on my tennis shoe. And you can imagine what happened. Um, my husband came running in and kind of looking at me. And I could tell on his face, like, he was trying to act concerned. He was trying really hard not to laugh because he knew I was fine. 
but he did the correct husband thing and asked if I was okay first and helped me off the ground and then laughed at me. So, okay. So we are going to get to the painting. You have the paint colors, uh, mixture ratios. Everything is down in the description. And we are going to see what kind of a mess we can make. Um, oh, canvas. So the way that I did the canvas, and I already have it secured down. But if you can see in here, what I did is I just took some, um, some painter's tape. And I pinned the painter's tape to the canvas. And then I wrapped the painter's tape around onto the spinner. This is a spinner I, I built quite a while ago. Um, just a, a spin that I got at Walmart, and this is just a piece of MDF, and um, I'm actually going to take the screws out of it, because I don't need them anymore, because I'm doing it this way, but um, yeah, so that's how I have my canvas secured to the uh, spinner. Okay, let's see what kind of mess we can make today. We are going to put down our pillow paint. My pillow paint might be a little too thin, but what I'm going to do again, experimenting is, uh, we are going to go ahead and spread this pillow paint out with a brush, get it all the way to the end. I know some of you watching are probably cringing at what I'm doing. It's not like the other people, but that's the point. Oh, so while I'm doing this, um, I'm actually working on a multi-part video, um, was out on the scroll saw yesterday. Um, we are going to build a cross. We're going to cut it and route it and sand it and paint it and put it together and resin it and all that stuff together. So we, so far, are through the cutting and sanding and routing and painting part and then um, now we are going to tomorrow hopefully because it's on MDF so it dries really quickly we will be able to um, resin it build it and resin it tomorrow and I hope to have that video out to y'all um, probably by Friday I would think it should all be done by Friday so, um, I know some of you are thinking that's probably a little too soon to resin something, but because it is MDF and MDF actually absorbs some of, of the moisture, uh, paint dries super, super fast on MDF, um, a lot faster than it does on canvas. And I also today went into my storage barn and um, got out my patterns box of all of my scroll saw patterns I've just had stored away. And we are going to start building some really cool stuff together. Um, also working on some new sublimated tumblers and just all kinds of different stuff branching out. Not just going to be painting all kinds of new avenues that um, everybody can go into. Okay, so we've got our base done. We are going to go ahead and put our pillow paint down now. All right, that should be enough. I'm going to have a lot left over. Look how pretty that is in the cup. Okay, let's start, let's start with green. I have absolutely no clue what I'm doing. Okay, and let's do red. Ooh, I broke the stick. A little Christmassy after Christmas. This would have been a really pretty 
winter Christmas color combo. And then we are going to do the gold. I want to do the blue on top because I think this gold and that vermilion are too close in the family. So we're going to do this. And now the blue. Okay, and here is our orange cell activator. We're just going to go nice and wide with this one. And then now our white cell activator. Okay, now that we've got that done, I'm going to move a little bit of plastic around um, to cover up these sides because this is going to go everywhere. All right, so I got all my sides all covered up and we are going to spin. Oh, I guess we need to blow it out first, huh? Let's do that. All right. come up a few seconds and we are going to spin <clears throat> all right y'all ready oh that's actually really pretty look at that i really like that very interesting. I kind of want to spin one more time. We're going to spin one more time, but not really, really hard. I kind of like how that turned out. Not too bad, if I do say so myself. Alrighty, I'm going to bring y'all down for a closer look in a second. Um, I'll have to show y'all the sides too because the sides are beautiful. That's it. We're done. Thank y'all very much for watching. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments section. Um, paint mixtures, mixture ratios, all of that fun stuff. Down in the description as well at the end of the video, I will have um, a little screenshot there for you. And, um, oh, I did want to ask, speaking of woodworking, so this is actually something that I made many, many, many moons ago. It was one solid piece of wood, cut it out, um, sanded them down to different levels, stained it, put it back together. I was thinking about doing something similar to this, but actually maybe pouring the heart and then leaving the cross and the hands stain. Uh, let me know if, it, if that's something that y'all would like to, uh, to work on together and if y'all would like to see that. And, um, yeah, that's it. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, don't forget to go, uh, go join my Facebook group, Paint Pouring for Christ. It's just a place where, uh, like-minded people can come and, and praise God and, and fellowship with each other and share their paintings and, you know, just a favorite scripture that day. It's just, it's really just a place to come and, um, and really just love on God and, and share him with each other. So Paint Pouring for Christ, head on over to Facebook to check that out. Um, down in the description, links to my, all of my Instagram, Facebook, uh, Pinterest, 
all of that kind of stuff, as well as the link to my new website, The Nerd Den, which is where you're going to find all of my superhero and anime stuff and all of that. So, um, I am actually really happy with the way this turned out. I'm going to show you all the sides and everything real quick. All right. What do y'all think of that? Very cool results. I'm going to take y'all over onto the sides so you guys can see the sides as well. Some of them have kind of dropped off. We have lost a little bit of the sides. Alrighty, everybody, that is it for us today. Um, I think I'm going to call this one Phoenix because it just kind of looks like a Phoenix coming up and going out. And um, I really like this one. So I'm glad that y'all were able to do this with me and experience this actually finally successful bloom with me. And um, I will see you all soon. And as always, God bless.